I welcome you back to our tour through the Gospel of Matthew. We are looking in this portion at Matthew chapter 15, verse 33, and I will be reading out of the New Revised Standard Version. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 33. The disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed so great a crowd? If you were to go to a major outdoor concert in North America today, you would expect to see certain things. There may be a couple of a couple or more places where you'll find a row of portable washrooms. We know exactly what they look like, those plastic flimsy buildings. There may be temporary fencing or barriers that are there to help control the flow of the crowds. There will be a portable sound system and some sort of temporary stage. Then there will be food trucks and trailers providing all sorts of food options. When we talk of Jesus feeding the 4,000, which is just the count of the men involved, we can see the event in light of what we would expect here in our day and age. Now imagine a crowd of some 15 to 20,000 with none of this. If we were to go to that major outdoor concert, we could expect, expect some other things. If there is not on-site parking, there will probably be shuttle service to where our car is parked. Often in these events, the parking is not right next to the event. In some cases, the venue might be able to provide shuttle service to a place where you can access public transit. The point is that when the concert is over, in spite of all the crowds, people can relatively quickly leave the site. The crowds that Jesus had would not have been able to move quickly. It is likely that most of them had walked there. Now it's late, and the question is, how do you feed the crowds? It was not just an issue of food. It was an also an issue of the fact that there was nothing close at hand. Much like that outdoor concert, this is in a place that is outside of an urban environment, a place that is chosen for its ability to hold this large crowd, but does not have the facilities around. Look at it this way. If God calls us to do something, the obvious question will be, how do I do it? What I can do is take an inventory of my resources and see how I can use what I have to accomplish the task. And maybe, maybe starts with how much money is in the bank account. And the may involve looking at what is in the cupboard or closet. It may be a case in which I look at is my education or life experience such that I have what it takes to do that task. In other words, we begin by looking at what our resources are, because if God has called me to this, there must be something there that I can take and use to do the task. In other words, if God calls me to something, what I tend to see do is to see if I have the resources on hand. Because if I do not have the resources, and God in that sense cannot be calling me to do that task. I do not think I'm alone on this. I think most of our, us are willing to do for God and the kingdom if the resources are there. Look at the feeding of the 4,000. What does it tell us? The reality is that God often calls us to situations where we do not have the resources. It may not be the case that we need to supply the bread for some 15 to 20,000 people. The truth be told, that one has already been done. We probably are not going to have to repeat that. The life of faith is not about counting the trucks that have come from the bakery. 
The life of faith is about seeing how he will accomplish his purposes. Our role is not necessarily about supplying the resources as much as believing that he will meet the need. Notice how this changes things. That the call to serve and minister in the church is not about working with what we have. It is not about accomplishing some certain task. It is about going forth to what he has called us and the belief that if God has called us, that the resources that are necessary to do that task will be there. What the apostles had to learn and what you and I have to learn is that if he wants to feed some fifteen to 20,000 people, he can. We just, as it were, go along for the ride in the belief that God can and will meet the needs if he calls me to the task at hand. 